I define success as <laughs> joy and pleasure, really. I mean, if you get to do what you enjoy and you get to pass that joy on to other people, I consider that to be such a huge success. I'm Thea Monier. I'm the person behind TheaMonier.com. I'm a healer and I'm an artist. Nothing I have done has been a straight path. I was always the writer and performer. It is as though she cannot smell the sick in the air through the thick of her daughter's laughter or the thin of her daughter's hair. And then my friend Noni, so she's like, let's do a podcast together. You bring the mental health part. I didn't really even know anything about podcasts. I was like, this sounds fun. Like this is, that's the person I am. Totally old fire sign. Like this sounds fun. Let's do this. I mean, that's the beauty of the time that we live in right now. You know, you can create almost any career you want. I just never like to feel limited, as you can probably tell. My biggest fear, actually, is the oppression of people's creativity. People have these burning ideas and desires that they're not able to give birth to. But what if that thing was going to be really awesome? And what if the world really needed that? And it just kills me to think that people don't pursue the thing that they came here to do. Hey! Hey! Good to see you I'm again. so glad you made it. How you been? Good. I'm excited. Good. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Come on in. When I started my website, I was like, I need a home for all these parts of myself. You started off thinking like marketing, of course, like, oh, hey, if people are going to book me for this, they're going to have to, you know, I can show you what I'm working with so far. Okay. They did pretty good to start. She so here's the home. She has the home page down. Here's the home page down, <laughs> bio. Um, some of the more important parts to me are the service and workshops, because that shows people a breakdown of what I do offer. As I was designing it, it was this part that took over, and it was like, no, this is a chance to really defy any boxes now. Using GoDaddy's products actually made that so easy for me, right? Because I was able to display the poetry part of me and the mental health part of me and the sex therapist part of me and the IFA part of me. And it was like no conflict. This is my home, this is my space, this is my turf. And when they come here, if they see it and they like it, they do. And if they don't, great. Next thing I think I'd like to do though are newsletters. I'm really looking to create serious community. One of the biggest uh, marketing tools is the email marketing newsletter. You can send out campaigns and add links in there. In the um, body of the newsletter. In the body oh, of that's the newsletter. perfect. It's drag and drop just like your website, and it's one perfect. of the easiest ways to yeah. stay engaged with your community. You're going to subscribe. I am going to subscribe. So that you can see how well I did. I better get one of these <laughs> newsletters I hope soon. That I was a good student. Even the types of opportunities I'm getting now are different. Now I feel like I'm getting like really serious, thoughtful, um, inquiries from people and that that feels really good i think once you figure out what your word is what your thing is like you just have to be open to any way it wants to express itself so i knew creativity and healing are my jam and once i know that like i don't know how many slashes i'm going to add to what i do if i talk to you in three years i promise you there'll be more as long as i'm creating and as long as it's leading to healing and i think that's the thing that ties them all together We've always created, we've always danced, we've always been innovative, we've always brought our brilliance and our genius to the table and offered it up at the altar of joy. And so that's what I want us to continue doing.